fellow bookworms, September is dead. My name is Whitney and we are doing another Throwback Thursday and I was a big horse girl growing up, absolutely obsessed with horses and my dream was to have a horse of my own and everything like that and so I thought the next couple weeks it would be fun to revisit some of the horse books on my shelves. I have a lot of them uh, and so first up I decided to go ahead and revisit Misty's Twilight. Of course, the original book was Misty of Chincoteague, and I never owned Misty of Chincoteague, even though I really enjoyed it, but I did have this one, and I probably picked it up because I was familiar with that book. But yeah, just really loved this book growing up. It wasn't one I read a whole lot, but I remember seeing it on my shelf and, you know, smiling because I would think of Misty of Chincoteague, and I liked that story. Um, I'm going to get into my full thoughts on this one, what's about and everything in a moment, but as always, I do like to remind you guys what's going on otherwise on this channel. Uh, of course, we do our weekly discussions for our book of the month every Monday. If you're not already participating in that, you can definitely uh, check out some of those videos. Right now we're re reading Obsidian Butterfly by Laurel K. Hamilton. We also do a weekly read every Wednesday. I pick a book, I read it within the week, and then I give you my thoughts on it. So if you ever want to participate in any of those or just see, you know, kind of what I'm reading, you can check out those videos. We also do a series Saturday on this channel. Right now we are working our way through the Dresden Files series. That's been a lot of fun. Um, we're just finishing up the fifth book and about to jump into the sixth book. So you can certainly check out those videos. And then I did start a new series last Friday. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll leave it linked in the description below. But I'm doing what I'm calling the ABC Author Challenge right now. And basically, I'm finding authors that I've never read before or I'm not familiar with. Um based on the alphabet. So that has been a lot of fun. The first video came out Friday. I have another video that's going to be coming up soon. And that one, there's not going to be a regular like schedule to it. It's just going to kind of be as I have time, you know, so as I make my way to find these books. And then as I read these books, I'll be giving you updates on that challenge. And so yeah, if you're not already, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on a thing, and then give this video a like while you're at it, and then other bonus videos pop up here and there as well. So there's a lot that happens here in Tibera's Den. I hope you will subscribe and become part of our family. But let's go ahead and talk about Misty's Twilight. So overall, you know, very simple. It's kind of fast paced. It's not a very big book and it goes through years of this horse's life. life. Um, and so yeah, it's just, it's pretty fast paced. I do like, it has like illustrations in it, which I absolutely like those. Um, it is aimed for kids eight through 12, which I think is like the, the perfect age range for this for sure. Um, and yeah, basically it follows Sandy, who read Misty of Chincoteague as a kid and absolutely fell in love. And her dream was always to go to the island during the pony roundup and get a wild pony. Um, and so that was her dream. And so she takes her two kids and they go, they each adopt a pony. Um, she, her each kid gets one and then she falls in love with this little tiny baby who got taken away from its mom way too early. That's one of the things I didn't like about it is because it's kind of old school thought in that aspect. Uh, and that that little, little, I think it was a filly, or, no, or a cult, I don't remember. Either way, you know, they should have stayed with their, their mom um, way too young. It was like three weeks old or something like that. So very, very baby. Um, and then they go to the farm where all the descendants from Misty of Chincoteague, all her descendants are on this farm and she ends up buying a horse named Summer. I think that's the horse's name and he just thinks it's the most beautiful horse. It's a direct descendant and so she ends up buying that. So they end up with four horses and so then she breeds Summer to a thoroughbred and that's how we get Twilight. Um, and that's where the, the title comes from. So basically, you know, it's really following Twilight um, and her journey throughout her life. Like the different things she ends up being trained for. 
uh, and Sandy's journey as well. And so, yeah, Twilight does becomes a cutting horse for a little while. Then she does, uh, like, jumping, uh, like, kind of crunchy jumping. And then she ends up, you know, doing dressage. Um, and so just kind of following the different paths that this, this horse is taking and kind of her spirit and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, overall, just was really, really enjoyable. But it is very, very simple. Reading it as an adult, it kept my interest, I think, just because of how fast-paced it was. Um, and the fact that it was a horse book. But it wasn't enjoyable enough as an adult that I would probably pick it up and read again. Uh, I think I will keep it on my shelf just in case I ever have a little girl who's as horse crazy as I I was. Um, you know, this would be a book I would pass on to them. But it's not one, you know, I'm going to revisit like some of the other childhood books I've been showing on this uh, series, The Throwback Thursday. Um, it's not one I'm necessarily going to revisit. I didn't find it that enjoyable. And... If I was going to read a book, I would rather read the actual Misty of Chincoteague than this one. But still, it served its purpose <laughs> for me as I was growing up. And I do think it's an enjoyable book. So if you have a kid who is horse crazy, this would be one to get. But I would definitely get the original as well, Misty of Chincoteague. Um, I would get that one. And then you can maybe add this one in as well. Uh, but other than that, I think it's perfect for that age range and, and perfect for, you know, kids who are horse crazy, but not a lot of depth to the story otherwise, uh, that I think it, it holds a lot of, uh, substance there that just wants you to revisit again and again and again. So, but yeah, I think it was fun to revisit it, uh, even though it was pretty simple and I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. I have another horse book coming up next week. This one is also very simple. I've revisited it a little bit uh, as an adult. I think I revisited it one time in my 20s. Um, but it is one that I gravitated to a lot uh, growing up. I remember reading it frequently. So you can see my thoughts on that book next Thursday. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. Happy reading, everyone. Bye.